So this is what we're gonna be making today. It's like a little flower. I made the stem too long, but you know. We can make a shorter stem. You're going to need a loom, a hook, your and some clips and a, not some clips, but a clip and some bands. Well, let's get working. Come on. So, let's begin. You're going to keep your band where the arrow is pointing up, which I'm sure you should probably already know. But if you don't, <laughs> you should. Now you're going to put a band going from here to here. Um, and you're going to keep going as long as you want your um, stem to be. And also, I just thought of that you if you wanted to make stems so I'm so like I'm gonna make like a little stem here you could make one going out to an angle so mine just looks like that right now I'm gonna add a couple more bands to make a little bit of a bigger stem and that is all um sorry if you hear my dog playing with his new toy yeah my dog's playing with his toy Okay, next. I'm going to put a band here, and I'm going to put one going from, whoops, actually, it's good to put the pedal ones first. So I'm going to put a pedal, then I'm going to put another stem. So all I did for my stem was I put one, two, three, four, five. I put five going up, and then I put two pedal stems that we can work on. So let's get to the flower. Make the flower. First, I'm going to use a pink band. I'm going to be doing pink, so, um, um, you're going to do a pink band going from here to here, let's push that down, you're, then you're going to take a band, I'm going to do a red band, it's going to be going from here to here, I'm going to take an, another red one and a pink one, so I'm going to get another pink and a red one. This pink one's gonna go up, and the red one's gonna go up. And then I'm gonna have another red one and a purple one. I'm gonna do purple, pink, and red. So if you wanna follow those colors, you can do that. Take the purple going up there. Take the red going up there. So I'm having a cute colored one. Now, I'm gonna take two reds, because that's what I need next. I'm gonna take one red going here to here, and another red going from here to here. Okay, a band from here to here. A band, um, this one's a cute blue and pink cotton candy color, so I'm gonna put it from here to here, and a band from here to here, like that. So it's just in a line. Now I'm gonna take this band, and I'm gonna put it from here, and another one here. Then I'm gonna grab a band, I'm just grabbing a random one, it's blue and green, twist it into a figure eight, put it back upon itself, and put it on this pad. Now you're gonna turn it around. Remember, this is what we're aiming for. Um, like a nice little thing. Where is my hook? So I just set my hook down somewhere and now it's gone. Well, okay, so we're gonna start by pulling off this band and grabbing the first band. And you're going to take it, hold the band down so it doesn't come with you, and you're going to loop that one. Okay, now you're going to pull back the band. I'm good at it, but I still have trouble pulling back the cap. I think the next one is what we'll do. So I'm going to use my fingers to pull back the band, and you can grab the very first band that you come to, which should be the one looping onto the left. Then you'll loop the one to the right. If the one that you loop doesn't start being to the left, then check what you're doing and see if you're doing it right. You, it's okay if you have to start this video over. We're not going to be mad at you. Yeah, this is expert. It's not just easy beginner. So now you're going to pull this under, and then you're going to loop it over. Easy, you know? Looping is super duper easy. I mean, m for most people. Now you're going to loop 
It might be the, the light pink for you or it might be something else. Whatever it is, just loop that one. Now we're going to loop this dark red for me. So I'm going to pull it over and I'm going to loop it. You just make sure you're not taking the triangles with you. I would recommend you use the same colors as I'm doing because you can see which ones we're looping yes. over because it it's kind of hard if you're um, you, if you don't see what we're doing and you loop the wrong band and then everything gets all messed up. Okay. So I'm going to loop this one and now I'm going make sure you do not bring the triangle with you and loop the middle one. Got it? Now you're going to loop this side one. Then you're going to loop this. And then you're going to loop the pink one. You're doing amazing, I hope. Well, remember, if it messes up, you know what's the fun? Trying it again. Okay. Well, we're about to see how to do this part. Okay, so you're going to pull back these bands. You're going to grab the green one. If you did a green stem, which I'm sure you probably did, but if you didn't, that's okay. Now you're going to grab the very first band. There, there, if you did a stem, there will there will be one going down like that and one going there. Grab the one that will be going down so that you can loop the stem. But remember, if you do stems, you have to do a lot of slip knots. Well, let's keep going. Now you, I'm sure you know how to do the rest of the stem, cause it's just plain simple oh, looping, you know, things that you learned if you learned the single bracelet, anything that you learn when you learn that, I'm sure you did, or the triple single bracelet, if you did that. Oh here, I'm wearing my triples, look I'm wearing a triple single, so check out our video to learn how to make a triple single. Well anyway, I'm going to keep going with the pedal. Well, now I'm sure you know how to pull it off. You'll create slip knots, and that's how you do it.